Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about my fragrance recommendations for a kinky girl. Now, I can't say that with a straight face because it sounds so, I don't know, like stereotypical, whatever. But basically I want to make a list for you ladies or gentlemen that are watching me that don't want to smell typically feminine, typically floral, girly girl. You want something a little more dark a little more sexy, a little more raunchy, kinky. That's why I'm gonna call it kinky girl perfumes. So personally, I love this genre of perfumes and it's what I am attracted to a lot. Not all the time. Sometimes I really wanna smell very feminine, very elegant, very put together. But other times when I wanna smell a little more dirty, a little more kinky, these are the fragrances that I pull for the most and I want to share them with you guys today. So I am super excited to get into this list. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Guys, the first fragrance on my list is Parfum de Mali Herod. Now, yes, this is in the masculine line from Parfum de Mali, but do not let that deter you from trying this scent because it is mind-blowing and the only reason actually that i don't wear this fragrance so much anymore is because for me this is pierre's scent this is the scent actually i'm going to tell you guys a small anecdote of the time that we met we actually like really bonded over how much we love herod both of us it was our favorite uh fragrance from parfum de mali my favorite and his favorite and then we ended up smelling it together and falling in love and everything so um herod from mali it's in the masculine collection but let me tell you ladies if you have not smelled this fragrance go out and try it and you're just gonna you're gonna see this is one of the sexiest fragrances ever on both a man and a woman so really guys you have to try this one it is a sweet, whenever I smell this fragrance, it literally does something to me inside. What you're gonna get is a beautiful tobacco vanilla scent. For me, the vanilla is the most dominant note in this fragrance. You have a little bit of cinnamon. So there is a little bit of spice in the top. I think there is also a pink pepper in here. You have the vanilla, some tobacco, and I get this kind of almost slightly syrupy cherry feeling overall. I don't know where that note is coming from, but I definitely pick up this slight cherry sort of flavor in there. And it's just incredible, you guys. Vanilla, tobacco, this sort of sweet cherry sort of touch, and a nice woody dry down. It is addictive, sexy, 10 out of 10, incredible. Longevity projection is amazing, at least on my bottle that I have. The longevity projection is fantastic. And really, this is sexy. For me, this is a date. If you're going on a date, if you're going on a night out, if you're going to a lounge, to a bar, try Herod. Even for the fall and winter in the daytime, wear Herod. You're going to see that it's just the most sexy, addictive scent. It leaves a beautiful trail behind you and it is just incredible i cannot say enough good things about this scent usually i recommend it to my male followers but ladies you have to try herod like just give it a try and you're gonna see it is one of the best and most sexy fragrances ever on the skin so that's my first recommendation for a kinky girl next up we have a fragrance from tom ford and it is noir pour femme Okay, so you can also actually look at the Noir Extreme, which is a part of the masculine collection, but I'm going to go ahead and say Noir Pour Femme is a little more like kinky, a little more sexy. So what you're going to get in here is a really addictive kind of spicy, ambery, sweet, woody scent. It is just wow really really sexy it really has this like kind of spicy tonality to the fragrance i believe there is some sort of dessert note in here but to be honest with you guys i get like a sweet ambery spicy scent with a really sexy woodiness underneath it is just amazing very very mysterious very sexy very unique as well i feel like when you're wearing a fragrance like this you don't smell like everyone else you have something unique about you and that's why i love it so much it's dark it's mysterious very sexy and very addictive i recommend this one for a date definitely a date night scent a date 
an extra. <laughs> um, a night out for sure. Again, the same sort of situation as Herod. The only thing with this fragrance is that for me personally, the longevity projection is not amazing. I would say it lasts about six hours on my skin with very minimal projection. But for me personally, it doesn't bother me at all. I just love the way that this smells. It's very unique and very sexy and very femme fatale. So Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme, definitely if that interests you, get on it. It is fantastic. And next up, guys, Guys, we have one of my favorites in the list. It is Nishane Nefs. As you guys know, I have been speaking about this fragrance quite frequently as of late, but that is because I truly love this scent. I took it with me to Europe a few months ago and I just love this fragrance. I know it's freaking damn expensive. Like I hate that it's so expensive, but the scent inside is just magnificent, you guys. Like very dark very sexy, very, very, very addictive. I believe there is a huge breakdown of notes. I don't even know. I think there is some rose. There is definitely rose, sorry. There is rose, oud, there is saffron, there's some honey in here. There is some other florals, there is a woodiness. But overall, for me, I get this very sweet, very addictive rose and oud combo, but not too much. Like the rose and oud, is for me not too overpowering, not overbearing, not where it smells like dirty and animalic. What I mostly get from here is a very sweet, addictive rose and oud scent. I also kind of feel like a little bit of leather in the fragrance, which brings something extra and very sexy to the scent. And it is just mind blowing, you guys. For me, Nishane Nefs is like a 10 out of 10 wow factor fragrance. And I'm telling you guys right now, whenever I wear this scent, I get so many compliments. It's insane. Sweet, a little spicy, a bit leathery. The rose and oud is just beautiful and it's not too much. It's not too prominent. And it's just so well blended and just absolutely a masterpiece fragrance for me this one love it longevity projection we don't even need to discuss this topic because it lasts so long on the skin the longevity projection is crazy on nishane nefs it lasts for me about 10 8 to 10 hours on my skin with really really good projection and it's just fantastic i would recommend this one more for a night out rather than a day because i feel like it's a little bit strong for a date night but I think for a night out, for the fall and winter, for a lounge situation, Nefs is perfection. So love this one so much. One of my favorites in the list, very femme fatale, very sexy, but you do really have to like your more oriental fragrances to appreciate this one. Next up, we're gonna talk about a recent discovery of mine. I've always known about this fragrance. Let me just discuss what it is. It is African leather from Memo Paris. Now, I have known about this fragrance. I think I've smelled it in passing a few times. I don't know what took me so long to actually try and wear this one myself because guys, I am totally obsessed with this fragrance. I am obsessed. I'm not gonna tell you ladies to go run out and buy it because as you guys know, like I have a lot of fragrances in my collection and I'm very used to wearing masculine fragrances, feminine fragrances, woody, spicy, whatever. But if you're a woman like me and you like to try and experiment with your fragrances, try African leather. It is so freaking sexy, you guys. It is so sexy. I actually went on a date with Pierre, I think like last week we went to go to get a burger and I wore uh, African leather and he told me, what the heck is your perfume? It smells incredible. And I told him it was African leather and he was absolutely shocked that I was wearing it because it is, wow, very, very, very spicy, resinous, a bit dry, ambery. For me, I get a lot of sweetness on my skin. I actually just included it in a men's video and I mentioned that it does become quite sweet, but some people really don't see the sweetness in this scent. On my skin, I get a lot of sweetness. I get a lot of spice in here. I think there's some cardamom, maybe some cumin. Then I get a very kind of like dry amberiness that is very, very sexy and very addictive. And for me, the leather in here is not prominent at all. As you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of leather. I like it in very small doses. Like if a fragrance has leather in, but it's more in the background, I love it. When there is a very strong, intense, like, 
car leather smell. I absolutely hate it. So in African leather, I don't really pick up the leather too much. I mostly, like I said, get this spicy, resinous, ambery scent with a bit of a freshness on the top. I love that this fragrance still has like a freshness throughout the entire wear of the, of the scent. Amazing, amazing 10 out of 10 fragrance and very sexy, very femme fatale. Definitely check African leather out. I know the people that purchase this fragrance, it's mostly men, but trust me, you guys, try African leather. It is so sexy and very femme fatale. Next up, we have Ensemble Suave from Matière Première. Now, for me, this fragrance screams kinky, sexy, femme fatale. This is a wow fragrance. What you're gonna get with Anson Suave is a burning incense fragrance with a lot of sweetness. For me, I get a lot of incense, but also a lot of sweetness. I think there's vanilla, I think there's some coffee, some benzoin, some labdanum. I don't even know, but guys, this is very, very, very sexy. And be warned, this fragrance is extremely potent and really, really strong. So you definitely do not need more than like four or five sprays maximum on this scent because it is powerful and it projects a lot. But yes, it is very, very sexy. Sweet, incensey, smoky, but not too much. Like the incensey smokiness is not in a disturbing way. It's just very, very sexy. And combined with all of the sweeter gourmand notes, for some reason, it just works so perfectly and it is amazing. For me, it smells like a burning, like a burning woody sweet scent and it is just, wow, a absolute 10 out of 10 and definitely for a woman who wants to stand out and wear something more mysterious, more addictive and femme fatale. I would say wear this one for a night out, you're gonna stand out absolutely and also for the fall and winter, it smells beautiful. So Ensemble Soir from Matière Première, incredible fragrance it's such a beast it lasts all day on the skin and it projects a lot so definitely check this one out if it appeals to you next up we have intoxicated from killian now this fragrance is another one alongside herod that pierre has kind of like claimed as his own scent and fair enough because he's loved this fragrance for i think something like six years so he he can get it but the fragrance guys it is so sexy and on a woman it smells incredible because I have worn it several times and I absolutely love it. But because of Pierre's obsession with it, I let him have it. So intoxicated by Killian. How does this one smell? Oh my God. This fragrance is absolutely amazing. It's spicy. It's a bit green. It's sweet. It's a little bit kind of chocolatey. It has almost like a dark chocolate note, like bitter, a bitter dark chocolate note. And it is just wow, 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 wow. I get this like green spiciness, like I said. I think there's some cardamom in here. There is some coffee, but to be honest with you guys, I get a green spiciness. And then I get this kind of dark, bitter chocolatey note. And it is just magnificent. A very sexy scent, date night, night out, fall and winter. It is just breathtaking. Intoxicated by Killian. Definitely check this one out if you wanted something like that. You're gonna stand out with this one. You're gonna get noticed and it definitely doesn't smell typically like a woman at all. So it's, it's a really good one. Next up, we have Absolute Aphrodisiac from Inicio Parfum. Guys, this fragrance is the epitome of femme fatale, kinky, sexy, just this is everything, this fragrance. As you guys know, I love the brand. I love the House of Inicio. I think it's just so, it kind of embodies this entire video. It's a very sexy house. Uh, it's a very mysterious brand. It's just a 10 out of 10 in general. So absolute aphrodisiac. I was kind of thinking which fragrance to put in this list because there could have been a lot to fit in this category. There could have been uh, Side Effect, Bless Baraka, Oud for Greatness, um, even uh, Psychedelic Love. But I think the one that I wanted to include the most is absolute aphrodisiac, not just because of the name. Absolute aphrodisiac is the most sexual vanilla fragrance that I've ever tried. And I mean that in not a vulgar way. I mean it in the best way possible. This is just raw and sexy and so unique. I feel like vanillas, 
There is a lot of unique vanillas on the market today, but I prefer my vanilla fragrances to smell like this. They smell, it smells warm and deep and ambery. For me, I pick up almost like a slight chocolatey um, tonality in the fragrance. I do feel this like milk chocolate sort of sensation going on. There is vanilla, amber, castorium, I think some white flowers, some leather. But for me, a very warm, cocooning, kind of milky, chocolatey vanilla scent with a bit of woodiness. And it's just, wow. It really is a very, very sexy fragrance. And this is a fragrance that I would recommend on like a third date or whenever you're ready to move things along. Absolute aphrodisiac. Wear it on a date, wear it when you're kind of intimate, getting closer. Wow, this fragrance is gonna do wonders. It is very sexy, very carnal, very addictive, and just an amazing fragrance. So definitely recommend it. Absolute aphrodisiac from Inicio. Guys, this is one of the best in the list. It is so good. <laughs> Next up, we have a fragrance from Zerzhov. I was contemplating which Zerzhov to put in because I have a lot in my collection and I didn't know which one I wanted to choose. I wanted to go with Tony Iomi from Zerzhov because for me, this is unique, this is special, this is very sexy, this is very powerful, very kinky girl, confident, uh, femme fatale, woman on top. Like, this is that fragrance right here. Tony Yomi is powerful. Whenever I smell it and whenever I wear it, I feel like a different woman. Like, really, I feel something special. Tony Yomi starts with a burst of passion fruit, which I find super interesting, mixed with caramel and patchouli. So I don't know what they did with this scent, but it is just so unique. Like I have nothing else in my collection that I can compare to Tony Yomi, and I love it for that reason. It has patchouli, passion fruit, caramel. The mix of all those notes together is, is doing wonders in the fragrance. There is a bit of leather, I think, and I also almost get a slight chocolatey feeling from this scent as well. I don't know what's going on with chocolate in this video, but I get a slight chocolatey feeling in here. It's just wow. It's fruity, it's passion fruit in the top, it's smooth caramel mixed with patchouli in the middle. It is just a wow fragrance. Very strong, very potent. This fragrance really projects and it really lasts a long time on the skin. Maybe like eight hours plus on the skin with a really, really good projection. Um, and I would recommend this one for a night out. This is totally a night out scent. If I was going on a night out tonight, I would choose Tony Yomi because it's very potent, very strong, and you're going to stand out and smell unique. And it's very sexy and very femme fatale. So try Tony Yomi. It is really a fantastic fragrance. It is quite a unique scent, so maybe you need to try before you buy. But let me tell you guys, this fragrance is just fantastic. So Tony Yomi from Zerzhov. Absolutely love this one. Very kinky scent. Next up, I have a newer fragrance in my collection that I absolutely love and I'm totally obsessed with. It is from Soradora and it is called Mandol. This fragrance is very, very sexy sweet gourmand but in the best way possible and yeah kinky <laughs> so in this fragrance you have tonka you have vanilla caramel heliotrope cashmere and there is a rum note in here it is just really 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 sexy for me i also pick up like a cherry facet in here i don't know if there is cherry in the fragrance but i definitely feel a kind of nutty sour cherry note and it is just so addictive, you guys. This is a gourmand lover's dream, this fragrance. It's sweet, slightly boozy. I get a nice leathery touch, a nice leathery touch. It's not too much leather. It doesn't smell like a car because personally, I hate that smell. And it really just complements the fragrance beautifully. I do feel like a cherry, sour cherry touch. And it is just amazing. Sweet, sexy, gourmand, very carnal, very addictive and kinky. Absolutely love it. Date night, night out, fall and winter, go for this fragrance. It is just perfection. And longevity projection is fantastic on the scent. I got this fragrance several weeks ago and I've worn it many times already. Longevity projection is top. It's like eight to 10 hours with really good projection. And I love it so much. So Mandol from Soradora, definitely check this one out. It is absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love. Next up, we have a fragrance from Stefan Amber Luca and it is called Isra and Mirage. 
This fragrance is one of my current favorites, along with Mandol, they're like my current favorite fragrances right now. I am totally obsessed with this scent. It's very addictive, very raw, again, like very, it's just so good, you guys. This fragrance is amazing. Probably one of the less obnoxious fragrances in the list. Obnoxious, I mean it in the best way possible, but Israel Mirage is more sensual, more sexual, more, I don't know, there is something about this scent that is so special. And actually from the brand, it's in my top three. I absolutely adore it. Israel Mirage is a beautiful, smooth, slightly powdery, musky, ambery, vanillic scent. And it's just wow. I think there is some mandarin, some cinnamon, some musk, some vanilla, amber maybe, maybe a bit of labdanum. I definitely feel like this labdanum vibe, vibe going on in the scent. It's wow. It actually for me as well has a slight, and I mean this in the best way possible, a slight animalic feeling to it, but in the dry down and just very subtly. And that's what I kind of love about this fragrance and why I wanted to include it in this list because of that slight little animalic touch. It is so, so sexy guys. Like it is incredible. Smooth, musky, slightly powdery, sweet, woody in the base. This one is just a 12 out of 10. This one is kind of similar to Absolute Aphrodisiac for the bedroom, intimate situations. This is gonna work magic and it is very sexy, very kinky and just amazing fragrance right here. So next up we have a very, very, very expensive fragrance and I almost feel bad recommending it because it is so expensive. Um, but I wanted to put it in this list in case any of you guys do have a bigger budget and you wanted to try something very unique, very, very, very sexy and I'm just gonna show you guys. It's a blue sapphire from Bodicea the Victorious. Now this fragrance, guys, I have been savoring every last drop of this. It is so incredible. It's really, really a special scent. I have personally been wearing this scent for like dinner and nights out in Dubai and it is wow. So this is also a rose and oud scent, but it's so unique. And I really mean that I have a lot of rose oud fragrances in my collection. And something about Blue Sapphire is extremely unique and I'm not sure which note is bringing that aspect, but it is crazy unique and very, very sexy. And I was actually really surprised because whenever I wear this for dinner with Pierre, he always gives me a compliment. And for Pierre to compliment me, it's quite rare. So I wasn't really expecting him to like it. I was mostly wearing this fragrance for myself because I absolutely love it, but Pierre, he loves this fragrance on me and he thinks it smells incredibly sexy. This is definitely not going to be for everyone. This is more of an acquired taste because it's very, very oriental. It's a rose and oud with some patchouli. There is kind of like a green sort of touch going on inside. A woody dry down. It does have a sweetness, but a very slight sweetness. I think there is some sage, some chamomile in here. It's just very unique, you guys. You need to try this one. You need to smell it, get your nose on it and see. But like I said again, and I need to reiterate, this is more for an acquired taste. And I would never, ever recommend you guys to blind buy this because it's so expensive and you need to make sure that you love this fragrance. If you're gonna invest that sort of money, you need to try it, wear it and see if you like it. But guys, it is very sexy and it is very, very, very like kinky girl, mysterious amazing scent but very very oriental dry it's kind of dry rose oud with a slight green tone it smells very much like a bodice of the victorious they really have a signature and the signature is blue sapphire like it's in this fragrance and bodice is completely like this fragrance is bodice and it's just beautiful um, but like I said, try before you buy, sample it, see if you like it. It's definitely not going to be for everyone because it does have a very oriental feeling to it. Um, but it is very, very sexy. I have to say that. And that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video of Kinky Girl Perfumes. Um, personally, I love every single fragrance in this list and I hope that you guys will check them out. They're not going to be for everyone. Some girls really like to stick with wearing floral, sweet, feminine scents, which is totally 
uh, and completely encourage like wear whatever you want and that's kind of the message of this video wear whatever you want if you want to wear masculine fragrances or more dark fragrances and you don't want to wear floral fragrances then do your thing and if you don't like any of these fragrances and you want to wear more feminine sweet floral scents then do your thing fragrance is completely about personal choice, personal preference, and what you really like inside of you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I personally love all of the fragrances that I featured today, and I hope that you guys will have the chance to check out at least one of them because they're really amazing fragrances. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.